Hi, I am making this video so that you can feel a little more comfortable with the Edmonds Heights K-12 website. I'm learning lots of cool things that are in here and I wanted to share those with you. In order to get to Edmonds Heights K-12 website, it's edmondsk12.com. Um, and it might have a sign that says not secure. I assure you it is secure. It's not um, a bad site. There's just the way that it's formatted makes it a little more difficult to, um, uh, to assure that it is indeed a secure site by the standards of Google Chrome. They are vetted, so it's safe. There's lots of things I'm going to show you. It's going to be a rather long video, so feel free to forward to the spots that you want. I'm going to show you some cool things on the home page. The home page has a lot of hyperlinks and a lot of menu options. You'll see them in the upper right hand side and these items will also be found in your pull down menu if you click on them or hover over them. So those are, there's two different places. There's also a really cool third place that I just discovered today, and it's these buttons. And these buttons are going to be helpful because they're going to be places that are going to take you off the site and um, or redirect you into places on the site that are going to be extra helpful and things you'll use weekly or daily. The thing that uh, everyone will be working on is an alley login. I like to open things into new tabs so that I can toggle back and forth and that will open it up so that you can get access to your um, alley. Forgive the dog in the background. I have a puppy now and you'll occasionally be hearing puppy talk. And so hopefully it won't bother you too much. The second place that's really cool that you'll be checking is the weekly newsletter. Now it is sent to your email every week, but invariably something happens where you don't necessarily get it. And so it will always be on the school website. And so I'm gonna open it up in a new tab and I can go all the way back to, la oh gosh, let's see how far it goes. It goes forever. It's nine pages. I think it's like three years of newsletters. So just be aware that if you do need information, all vital information is shared through the newsletter. Today's newsletter came out today and it's hyperlinked and you will see it and you can watch it and you can see it in PDF format. And it is taking a long time to load, so I like to download things on PDF, and it will tell me everything I need to know. Going back to the home page, the other button that you might want access to is the Skyward Access. And so Skyward, everyone in the district has access as a parent, and you can look at things like transcripts, and you can see uh, classes registered. If you're a high school student, you can see credits earned. It's very helpful um, and it's good to familiarize yourself. We don't always work in sync with Skyward because we have different uh, attendance policies than the district, but it is something that I think you should be familiar with. And so you could log in. Again, open a new tab if you want to. Otherwise, you'll have to come back to the home page frequently, and I like to just keep the tabs open. And so it will give you information on how to access it, and it'll tell you what you can look at. So there's going to be an updated school calendar as soon as we can um, get that finished. And so when you go over here, you can click on it. Now this is last year's calendar, but you can see all the dates color coded for no school, for early and late um, dismissal and, sorry, early dismissal, late start. 
and then all the key dates. It'll tell you when progress is due. So again, these are really, really helpful. What's also really helpful is that it gives all of the information for all of the staff and it will give you the most up-to-date information for all, if not some of the staff. It'll give you the phone numbers, it'll give you some of those events that are slated on the calendar. This year is funky, so I don't know how it's going to look, but we will have a new one soon. Okay, so now that I've gone through this cool little menu bar over here, um, there are, I would like to show you what other features are available. Um, there are family access questions, but I've already shown you that is also found through the Skyward Family Access login page. Um, it, this is a page for family support assistance if you need uh, uh, resources. This is a great place and it'll tell you uh, who to call and how to get said resources. And then we have Marianne's library blog. And since we're over here, let's go visit Marianne's library blog. If it's green, it's a hyperlink. That's what I've discovered on this web page. So Marianne has all of these really, really amazing resources. Whoa, that's a very fast menu on the left. And so she has a bunch of information that she has linked to as a resource if you're interested. So let's look up American women. And so there's um, a video that Marianne's made and there are um, slideshows. She is so brilliant when it comes to a variety of, t of things that can enrich a topic. So we really love Marianne's blog. On the uh, homepage, if you click on that homepage, it'll take you to, oh, sorry, that will not take us. This blog supports the library. And so we're going to have to go back. <laughs> Sorry about that, but as I said, it's a little frustrating because if you don't open it up in a new tab, then you'll have to go back. All right, this is the library page I was trying to show you. You'll find that on the upper right hand side. When you get here, you're going to find information about the catalog. So the school library catalog, if you want to check out a book, this is the place where it's going to tell you if we have that book. Um, and then again, here's her blog. And it's going to give you some fall information on the website, things to consider. And there's just so much good information. Marianne and Carrie and Britta have been doing a phenomenal job telling you dates to be aware of, um, frequently asked questions. They are a wealth of knowledge. So if you click on the K-12 online learning, this will tell you all of the subscriptions that we have. And so we have lots of subscriptions that are through our school. And there's also some uh, supplemental learning resources that if you clicked on in that web page, you would find that there's even more. Um, and so it's really helpful, but the ESD doesn't speak Edmonds Heights language, so if you're wondering what all this stuff is about, just ask Marianne because she is so accessible and does such a good job of showing what we have. There's a web page about technology. She has um, did, did, ah, digital citizenship. And so what's nice about the digital, digital citizenship, and I'm having a hard time with that title, is that it teaches you to how to be smart on the internet. So it'll tell you basically how to be a citizen of the, wor of the internet world and know how to avoid issues and how to find what you're looking for. It's a really, really great link. So I clicked on the community education classes, and these would be really great for you um, because this is Marianne's 
this is her forte. She likes bringing in all these really interesting classes and teaching them. And so she has cl classes like Girls Who Code, um, and then how to do 3D printing. Um, she can teach parents how to um, teach computer science. So she is, again, a wealth of knowledge. All right, something I am very excited about is this online resource center. So this online resource center is developed by Britta and Britta is a library science um, master. And so she has compiled English language arts and math um, resources for home learning or additional learning. It is amazing. It is beyond amazing. It is at your fingertips all of the things that you would need to be successfully teaching your child English and math at home if you needed the extra resources. If, um, if you want, you can go and play around with the menus at the very top, or you can go into the search bar. I really like um, Brain Pop. Let's see what she has about brain pop. There's nothing about brain pop. Is it two words? Nope. Okay. I really like Newzella. Let's see. Okay. So I looked up Newzella because I like that resource. And so I can click on it. And she has information. on the tool and Newzella is right here on this page. Currently free, but you need to create your own parent or homeschool teacher account. There's so many ways to search this site. It is filled with wonderful resources. I highly recommend that you take some time to look at it. Okay, I'm going to take you back to the home page of Edmonds and how I did that was I just um, had one of my tabs open so now we're back here. So I took you to the library. I showed you the, um, the calendar down here, but there's a calendar tool that you can open up. And it is a very simplistic calendar that can tell you important dates as the office puts them in. So it's generally considered like those major um, homeschooling moments, not necessarily like what holiday is President's Day. So you can see that the um, events in September are getting your your um, your WSLP in your alley and advising and telling you workshops begin on the 16th and certificated classes begin on the 21st. If you want to find a staff member, maybe you don't know what they look like. Well, most people should have a picture like our beautiful Trish. Some people have a black um, uh, icon in, in lieu of a picture, and we're desperately trying to get them to bring their pictures in. You can find out their address, their phone number, and where they are supposed to be when they're not in uh, distant learning. They're also by last name, so if you're like, I only know Christina, then you can go to the very bottom and you can look for Christina or you can go through the three pages of the staff. But again, remember that if you go back to your web page and when the calendar is up, it'll tell you all the information in one cool document. Okay, so in terms of Google login, you don't really need this. Um, and if you have any issues with your login, contact Marianne or the office and we can help you with your child's login issues when it comes to Google because you can't get into Canvas without having uh, your password and your login confirmed in Google. Everybody has it, but it's really, do you know what it is? Your Canvas login is going to be uh, at the very top as well if you wanted to get access to Canvas via the web page. And also, Ally, remember you can go at the very top or you can go to the right. If you hover over the, pay the words, you can find several cool things. Um, as 
as you're going through, even if you're a current student, you might want to look up the map or how to get to places. What we're about, I know that some people are like, okay, well, I want my friends to come here. So you can actually get to this link and you can um, send that to your friends and try to recruit them to come on over to our world. For current students, again, there's another way to get to Alley. There's another way to get to your calendar. Um, there's another way to get to your staff directory. So you can see there's a lot of different ways to get to your access, another way to get to your library. There's two buttons in this that I would like to show you. If you go to class listings, class listings, you will click on this green button, green uh, wording. It takes a couple of minutes, but it will open up what's available. Unfortunately, because it's remote learning this year, I don't know how accurate it is because we had to make a lot of changes in the last minute. The other thing is, is counseling. So the counseling team is Emily and Amanda, and we love them. We are so grateful for all the wealth of information that they have. They also have the information on this web page. So if you wanted to find out what high school credit options you would need, you could look this up on these hyperlinks. If you wanted to know about state testing, that is a hyperlink. If you wanted to learn about high school and beyond planning, which Emily has sent emails about, you can find that there. There's just a lot of information on this website uh, on this particular page that is really helpful. So, okay, so as family resources, there's things that we can, again, get to Allie. Um, and again, we can get to the calendar, we can get to the Curriculum Resource Center from here, uh, we can get to the staff directory. There's some uh, things that I would like to point out to you. So your WSLP toolbox is going to be what you need in order to successfully set up your your plan for this next year. And so there's lots of different words that are kind of confusing, like, okay, what do you mean by evaluation plan and timeline? Well, it can tell you what do you need uh, to determine, to, uh, to, de to, to, de uh, to, to determine the progress that a student is making. Are you gonna do tests, projects, completed homework? There's lots of different aspects that this, particular page will help with. That's cool. If you need some forms or paperwork, let's just say that you are going to declare to in homeschool all the way. You don't want to necessarily deal with all the rigmarole this year, and I totally understand. There's a declaration to intent for homeschool. There's also a family information update. If there's a change in names, a change in um, basic information, then you can fill that out and send it into the office. Um, and there's also these policies that are really helpful to know about when it comes to technology, when, how you're going to use the facilities, but you're not going to use them this year, and then how to, um, uh, what our self-supervised policy is in terms of grades and ages. Again, testing is the same link that you're going to find in the counseling page. Let's click on Essentials of Edmonds Heights K-12. There are lots of things that are being stated about our school, and it can be really confusing. And I can, I can understand. I forget, like, what do you mean about something? So if I look and I say, what's an intervention plan? It tells you what an intervention plan is, and it defines why you may have gotten it. What is considered our lunch hour? There's just tons of information. So before you get frustrated, or before you start like, I want to ask somebody in the office, you might be able to find it on the website. Normally, uh, we would have a really robust co-op um, pre uh, presence on campus, but I don't actually know what that looks like when we're doing remote. But if you wanted to create a co-op, then you would fill out this form and then you could um, uh, join other families and then you could do teaching together. And then if you are curious about special education, like you're not sure the process or you're not sure if your child would qualify, there are uh, really great documents that are on this special education website and that can help you with 
um, that information. But you can also go back to the counseling team and you could email Emily or Amanda at the websites that are provided on this page. Finally, um, there are a couple of buttons under facilities and administration that I would like to introduce you to. There's meet the principal. It's a little old though, because Dr. Mock's son graduated already this last year, actually. Congratulations. I think he was valedictorian. And then there's also leadership council. So what's really nice is that um, in the year 2021, this will be updated with the current principals and staff who are and workshop instructors who are on LC. So if you have any questions, their information is right here. They can help you with um, culture. They can help you with questions about what's going on at our school. Maybe you have a concern about something. I would recommend contacting the LC because they really are super duper helpful. I was on it for three years. Highly recommend that you utilize this resource. Okay, so if we come back to campus, um, this is a page that will help you understand what our ALICE is about. So ALICE, it stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate, which is a unfortunate a uh, thing that we have to practice in uh, when we have access, you know, when people have access to our campus and it's an open campus, we need to make sure that if there is a dangerous situation that we know how to handle it. And so this is what the safety planning is all about. This concludes my tour of Edmonds Heights K-12 uh, webpage. I know that it's a long video, but I really am excited about the features and I wanted to let you know so that you would have this at your fingertips. Thank you. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me or you can contact the office because they can be also a, a wonderful tool. If you want to contact them in the office, then you just go on to the home page and then their phone number is right up here. Okay. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.